and welcome. Now at five, new details just in about a tragic crash in Sacramento. Three people killed, including two young children, when their car, a Chrysler Sebring, veered off the road and slammed right into a tree. Police now say the driver was likely speeding. Thanks for joining us here at five. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Marley Ginter. Two women, nine kids were in that car at the same time. The two children killed were just three and five years old. And we first brought you the story of breaking news last night at 10. That crash happening along San Juan Road in South Natomas. CBS 13 Shantae Passmore joining us now live right near that scene with the very latest. Shantae. You know, people have been warning, they tell me, the city about the dangers of this road. Some of those concerns uh, cover speed, lighting, and this curve where there is a growing memorial this afternoon. And tonight, many are hoping that the other children pull out okay. Crash debris and medical equipment left behind show the frantic response on San Juan Road, but it's the children's toys and blanket gripping hearts. This been uh, a parent, like, it's hard to know like another kid passed away and then uh, the reason it's kind of sad. What caused a car with 11 people to crash Wednesday night? I think four to five kids under CPR. All hands are on deck right now. Sacramento police tells me it's not clear which way the driver traveled. What is known? Several children under eight rode in the car. A three and five year old died. A good Samaritan returns to the deadly crash site. Heartbroken, he recalls helping people trapped inside the car. So we pulled over, ran to the car. They couldn't get the other side open. So I opened the door, just saw a couple of kids. I just started grabbing them out. While detectives investigate, neighbors tell me they've sounded the alarm about traffic. It's tragic that something like this had to happen to get the attention that is needed on this street. Drone 13 shows their concerns, speed and visibility, especially at night. A nearby church echoes it's been problematic. But we've been working on trying to get more light for, for the areas. Meanwhile, the Good Samaritan walks away, unable to shake away the harrowing scene. It's just a bad scene, man. I'm just praying for that family. And back at her live again this evening. At last check, the survivors' injuries range from serious to critical. And we've seen strangers, including a nearby church, rallying around the family to support them in this time of need. And in fact, there is going to be a vigil at 5:30. That will be at the Point Natomas apartments for people who are looking for healing. Yeah, Shantae, as dangerous as that road might be, it's still baffling that nine children were in a car designed for five, and clearly not wearing belts at the time. Shante, thank you.